Hello, this is Michael Loftus with Loftus Coaching Consulting and, of course, a little bit of marketing. Today, I am going to answer the question, is social media marketing profitable? I get asked this all the time. Guess what? Going to peel it back, going to answer this question. So sit back and let's get started. Michael Loftus, Loftus Coaching, Consulting, and Marketing, helping both wholesalers and financial advisors separate themselves from the masses. Been a while, switch broker dealers, obviously a challenging year, but have the focus, the energy, ready to hopefully bring back some value to a lot of folks out there. So, the question I get asked literally all the time. Is my social media marketing profitable? I get this from advisors I work with. I definitively have gotten it from some of the distributors that I work with. So I'm going to answer it honestly. First off, this is just one piece of what we do. You have to understand that. I tell everybody, you have to have more than one thing when it comes to marketing. For me, like everyone, referrals, right? Of course whether it's from clients, COIs, whatever the case might be. Second is you should always have something, always have something, excuse me, that you like and enjoy that happens to bring you business. For me, that's golf. And then the last one for us is social media. So it is a, right, three-footed stool here. If without one, the other doesn't work. So it's not about just social media. You have to do other things. So what do we do? If you've seen me before, we do a lot, okay? Put out a lot of content on social media, whether it be articles, lifestyle articles, charts, and of course, videos, right? For me, videos is my main focus. Why? Because it's a great way to communicate with folks. It's easy, somewhat. I can get into that on another video. You know, I do have somebody that helps me with that, but I sit down, I talk, I go back to my desk, okay? But what we do is market updates. Then we do educational videos on all kinds of different topics. And we're now launching a new series, Lifestyle and Tech, where I'm gonna talk about lifestyle items and tech that I feel my clients can benefit from because I love all this stuff, okay? So these are great ways to get out there. So, is it profitable? You have to look at it at a couple different ways. First off, branding. It's unbelievably profitable in this sense. Why? Because we show how we are different and we are constantly communicating with our clients. When things were really rough in the beginning of the year, I was sending out weekly private videos to our clients. They always knew what I felt and changes I was making. You can't get better than that, right? We're out on social media, they see the brand, we're constantly out there, I get stopped in the local community. So next, new clients. Everybody wants to know, without question. How do I know this? Well, before the lockdown, I would say that meaning last year, about 30% of our business came from our social media efforts. This year, we hit our goal in April. All of those clients, though, came from forwarding my video on from existing clients or someone else who saw it, somebody on Facebook saw a video, somebody on YouTube or somebody, of course, Googled, found us, and always mentioned the fact they liked my videos. So every client this year came from our social media efforts and specifically videos because you get to show who you are. Now there's another piece I don't generally talk about, but it comes from the growth of our YouTube channel. So if you're not aware, when you get above a thousand subs, you can monetize your channel, meaning turn on ads. Okay, something I really didn't think about, but we had one video on Social Security that's gone viral. Okay, it's now up to 900,000 views, and on the urging of my video editor, we monetized it to see what would happen. So now we've turned that on. Fast forward, July, 
without giving total specifics, the revenue from my YouTube channel is paying the first year of my daughter's college tuition. Did you hear that? So yes, to me, when you look at this, it is definitively profitable in so many different ways. Branding, recognition, new clients, and guess what? If you grow it and build it to a point as I have, we've got 18,000 subscribers now, growing like crazy in the shutdown, where we were growing at 25 to 3,000 a month. We're back now to about 1,500 a month, but still a crazy good number, okay? So the answer is yes. So now the question is, how do you do it? Give me a call. If you're an advisor, I can explain all this. If you're a distributor and want me to go through our process and help other advisors, all of my information is here. You got to think outside the box. The world is changing. You need to change with it or be left behind. Michael Loftus, Loftus Coaching Consulting and Marketing.